wonder if it's in a conference pack. The one you left on the sofa for Eve to pull apart. She didn't. No. I rescued it, thankfully. Thank you. Right, better get back to the surgery. Tie up some loose ends before I leave tomorrow. No sneaking in today, you. Stealing poorly animals. Honestly, if I hadn't have spotted that chameleon when he did, I'd still be looking for it now. Well, Kyle and Sarah loved it. And if it's the last time I'm allowed to be alone with them, then at least we had a blast. Why wouldn't you be allowed? Oh, hasn't Chess told you? Her and Kane don't trust me anymore in case I have a seizure. I haven't had a chance with you working all hours. And it's not about trust, it's about keeping everyone safe. Yeah, well, if you put it like that, maybe it's for the best. Yeah, for you lot, maybe. Hadn't you better start getting ready for this meeting that you've arranged? It's not happening now. Well, it's not happening. You haven't even told me what it's about. Well, if you must know, Patricia wanted to come over and discuss my palliative care, but she's not very well, so she's had to cancel. So, you're free now. You can pop into Hotton and pick up that dry cleaning you've been going on about. No, I'm not leaving you. Where can babysit? And if I have a funny turn, Kane's just over the road in his garage. It's fine with me. Oh, OK. But only if you promise to behave yourself. Do my best. You can leave me in peace and all. I'm supposed to be looking after you. I am not incapable. I still call the shots. Anyway, I fancied a little sleep. I can't do that with your beady eyes on me. Fine. I'll be in bar. How have you been? Uh, aches, pains and a few dizzy spells, but no seizures, thank God. I bought this to help your mobility. <laughs> I won't be needing a stick. Take it anyway, just in case. You know what they say about pride coming before a fall? Fine. I'll use it in my Fred Astaire dance routine. <laughs> I won't foist anything else on you. Not today, anyway. I thought this would be a good time to discuss a few legal matters. If we're waiting for the others, I might just nip to the loo. Oh, of course, it's just through there. Uh, but it's only us, I'm afraid. Uh, Kane's busy and Charles had to cancel at the last minute. Really? One of them ought to be here, at least. Well, it can't be helped, and I'm sure if there's... If there's anything I need to share, I'll uh, report back to them later. Who's this? Patricia, Faith's palliative care nurse. Won't be a sec. I said I wanted privacy. To sleep, not for some secret meeting. You told Chaz your nurse was ill. Yeah, well, she's obviously feeling better. Or you made it up to get rid of everyone. Well, what's the alternative? Sit here having everything decided for me. Use that stick. Give back your driving licence. Stop having fun with your grandkids. Nobody's saying that. Well, that's what it feels like. Like I'm not in charge of my own life anymore. Do you have to meet here? No, it's fine. I'm on my own. Amy's working and Kerry's in hot with Chloe. Yeah, but what if she comes back? She won't. I just called her. She's clothes shopping. I had to see you. What's up? My mum's palliative care meetings got cancelled. Don't know why. She needs help now, not later. Sorry. Mate, hey, don't be. <laughs> Look, I hate seeing you like this. I want to make things better. You do. Well, these few snatched moments, it's, it's not enough, Chess. We need to spend some proper time together, you know, just, just you and me. <laughs> So I've taken a gamble. And I've booked us a cottage for tomorrow night. Now, it's, it's not far, but it's far enough away from Belle's prying eyes. Well, oh, that sounds amazing, but I can't just up and leave. Hey. I mean, my mum needs me, Eve. Look, it's, it's just one night. Just come away, recharge. You'll feel better for it. I promise. Ignore it. No. I can't spare. I'll have to in charge. Hey, what's up? When cancer spreads to the brain, things can change quickly without warning. Oh, yeah, the oncologist told me. Um, unsteadiness, vision problems. Oh, it's all downhill from here on in. 
it can affect your cognitive abilities too. I'm not saying it will happen, but it's possible you might lose mental capacity to make decisions for yourself. Either way, it's better to be prepared. Make important choices now, while you're the one in control. What kind of choices? Your medical care, for example. Appointing someone you trust to make those decisions for you. Well, that's not being in control, is it? It's handing it over. It's still your choice. The same goes for writing a will and discussing a DNR order. I can help you with those too. DNR? Do not resuscitate. Chaz, I thought you couldn't make it. Yeah, only here I am. And if you're discussing DNRs, it's just as well that I am here. Kane should be too. What's the urgency? Um, I need to get my affairs in order. Sooner rather than later, while I'm still in my right mind. Well, were you ever? Well, <laughs> the thing is, the cancer is spreading, and the chances are that my brain will pack up before my body does, and I won't be able to make sense of things, so I'll have to ask you to do that for me. We need to discuss your mum's medical care going forward so she can instruct you about what she wants. Like, do not resuscitate. She's not even close. Why do we even have to go there? To save you two having to decide. Well, live, surely! What is the point of trying to prolong things when I've already turned down the treatment? If my time's up, my time's up. I'm sorry, I know it's upsetting, but... It is what I want. Your mum needs to appoint a lasting power of attorney, too. If I can't make my own decisions anymore. It can be a shared responsibility. Uh, no, one will do. I'd like it to be Kane. You don't trust me? Of course I trust you, but I can't ask you, Chaz. You made all those heartbreaking decisions over Grace. That's enough for a lifetime. It wouldn't be fair. It's what she wants. She's just trying to share the Lord, that's all. This is not the end I want for any of us. I don't want to be a burden. But if we have to cross that bridge, at least we'll be ready for it. Or as ready as we'll ever be.